एच ए एल ध्रोव इज अ ट्विन इंजिन मल्टी रोल यूटिलिटी हेलीकॉप्टर विच फॉल्स इन फाइव पॉइंट फाइव टन क्लास ड्यूरिंग द लेट नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेस पुट फॉरवर्ड अ प्लान टू हैव एन इंडिजिनस लाइट यूटिलिटी हेलीकॉप्टर विच कुड फुलफिल द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ ऑल थ्री विंग्स ऑफ इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेस दिस प्रोजेक्ट वॉज डप्ट एडवांस लाइट हेलीकॉप्टर ए एल एच and its initial plan was to develop a single engine helicopter but as the project progressed a choice was made to have a heavier but twin engine helicopter which would improve safety Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL was tasked with this job and although HAL had quite some experience in license manufacturing of various kinds of aircraft developing an advanced helicopter from scratch to cater to stringent requirement of indian armed forces was not an easy task and hence help was sought from a foreign firm which would act as design and development partner for the program in 1984 a german partner was selected and the project took off despite the expertise of the german consultant Developing a helicopter which could fulfill the needs of Indian armed forces was very difficult. HAL's in-house teams often were tasked into doing things which were deemed unfeasible by the partner agency. After several design modifications and iterations, in 1992 the first prototype of ALH took flight and testing began. but the momentum was hampered by the fragile economic condition of the country during that period but the teams persevered ahead in 1998 in the backdrop of pokhran 2 nuclear test sanctions were imposed on india by united states and this led to us refusal to provide the originally intended engine for the alh program To sidestep these sanctions, HAL partnered with French engine maker Thermomeca, which agreed to supply their TM333 to power the helicopter, and later also partnered with HAL in the co-development of a brand new engine, which is called Shakti, and it is about 30% more powerful than the TM333 series. In 2002, a decade after its first flight, Dhruv got inducted into Indian Armed Forces. Starting with Indian Coast Guard and then entering all wings of the Indian Armed Forces. The ALH was later named Dhruv, and it translates to something immovable or firm, and it has stood true to its name. Dhruv has been a massive success. for not just HAL but also for our country since 2002 through a seen induction into armed forces in hundreds and has served all wings of indian armed forces from navy to army from operating just a few feet above sea level to operating in the harshest conditions at over 6000 meter altitude between the himalayan ranges through has fulfilled all its duties well other than indian army and navy and air force other security and paramilitary forces like the indian coast guard and border security force bsf and various central and state government agencies like ministry of home affairs mha ongc etc have also adopted through in good numbers Dhruv's success story doesn't end within the country's borders either. HAL Dhruv was in true sense India's first export success with several nations using the helicopter. This includes active operation by armed forces and various government and civil agencies of countries like Mauritius. Mauritius police is an international operator of Dhruv. with three inactive service they operate two older through 
Mark 1 and recently took delivery of the Mark 3 version. These helicopters have played critical role in their operation and has enhanced their operational capabilities. Israel, which in during mid 2000s leased a throw. Nepal, which operates three throw and was the first export customer for it. India also gifted Maldives few dhruv as strategic aid, which helps them conduct patrolling and search and rescue missions. Other than these active operators, there are several other countries, including Philippines, which actively is looking into purchase of HAL throw for their armed forces. Other than the original purpose of a utility helicopter, Dhruv has evolved over time and an armed version dubbed ALH Mark IV aka HAL Rudra has also been developed. This version is equipped with various state-of-the-art sensors and armed with a 20mm chin-mounted cannon and wide variety of weapons including rockets, an anti-tank and anti-aircraft missile. It is capable of neutralizing various threats. Over 100 Rudra are in service today. With over 400 through helicopters in service at various wings of Indian and foreign services, through has proven its worth. Over time, it has matured as a platform and its growth story still continues. But what is even more important is that without Thruv, there would be no Rudra, ALH Mark IV, or Prachand, HAL LCH. There would be no future Indian multi role helicopter, IMRH, or tech based multi role helicopter. DBMRH Through standing true to its name has created a firm foundation for Indian rotary aviation complex and created an entire ecosystem within the country.